I'm here from Dispatch Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning right here in beautiful Meadows, British Columbia. We're putting in an entirely electric eco air heat pump system. It's going to do heating. It's going to do cooling. We're going to put two medium static cassettes up in the attic. We're going to put one air handling unit down in the crawl space. We're going to put a heat pump on that side of the house. This is a, a young family with three boys who are all bedrooms on the top floor. It's too hot in here in the summer for them. Nobody's happy. Everybody's crying. We are going to get that solace from the southwest facing solar heat cane this baby is gonna be cold she's gonna be so 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 cold and then in the winter it'll be warm and cozy and comfortable let's check it out getting ready for an absolute beauty installation we're starting it on monday we're putting the air handler in the crawl space using the existing ducts that run through for the lower floor. Upper floor is no ductwork, it's electric baseboard. So we're gonna put in these medium static cassettes up in the attic and we're going to duct the top floor with two zones, 18K and 12K of cooling. Another pro tip here, we've lined up all of the equipment with the model numbers all at the front. You take a photo of that just for your reference and make sure you got all the right stuff. We're gonna have the lower floor controlled by this thermostat. We're gonna have the upper floor controlled by two of these thermostats. We're gonna have a sensor in all four bedrooms and you'll be able to look at your phone, control any of the three zones and look at temperatures in seven different spots. Check out this disconnect. It's got this built-in surge protection. You gotta protect your investment, guys. Put those surge protectors on, am I right? We got this one from Rector Seal, Pacific Clean Air. Gotta love that. Little stuff like this. It's the difference between the guys who care and the guys who don't care. The guys who are doing the quality installations and the guys who aren't. Sometimes you don't, you don't even notice this is not on the quote or not on the quote, but it's just all that little stuff, right? Adds up. The two-ton air handler. We're gonna hang this baby horizontally in the crawl space. And it comes with all this stuff. There's the 12,000 BTU medium static ducted unit. That's the return air filter, a couple of screws to pull the filter out of the bottom. Mount this up to the some lumber in the attic. This is the supply air. Let's see if we can see the coil. Looks nice. Three fridge connections, drain port. Get that back over there. We're gonna take that 48 thousand BTU, four ton, hyperheat unit. We're gonna put it right here. This way over, so we got a little serviceability here. This thing is good for down to minus 30 degrees. It's cold climate hyperheat. It's gonna heat down to minus 30. So we aren't putting in backup heat in this bad boy. It takes a 50 amp breaker. I'll show you that panel. I'll show you the crawl space. I'll show you the attic. Let's check it out. So this has got electric baseboard upstairs, and that's why there is uh, no ducting upstairs. That's why we're adding the medium statics up there. We got room here for the 50 amp. With the hyperheat, you gotta be careful. Uh, it is 50 amp breaker, so even with the three times. So make sure you got room for that 50 amp breaker on the panel. We're going to pop out of the panel, and we're just gonna surface mount a tech cable along the bottom of the, the top of the footing, and the heat pump's going right out there. I'm gonna put the two control module uh, interfaces for our Honeywell T10 thermostats for our upstairs uh, medium static ducts right there as well. And both of those are gonna need to tie into the cassettes in the attic and into the outdoor unit. Old gas furnace, what do you think we're gonna do with that guy? We're gonna take that guy, we're gonna yank it out of there. We're gonna put in the two ton air handler. We're gonna suspend it from the ceiling with the anti-vibration spring hangers. We are going to redo this supply plan and make that a little bit more efficient. We're gonna add the four inch pleated media filter and uh, we're gonna add turning vanes to that return air, see if we've got enough room for the uh, smooth throat on that one as well to make that more efficient. And run the line set out that way. Cut out these vents, we don't need uh, any vents anymore. I think we'll pop a couple caps on the inside. And we also don't need uh, acid neutralizer because there's no acidic condensate to manage. There's only the uh, condensation to manage. So no neutralizer required. That's the beauty of the all electric equip equipment is the uh, no venting and the no need for neutralizer. Those are two, two of the things I like about it. The other thing I like about it is this homeowner is gonna get $14,500 in rebates, baby. Oh yeah. 
top floor has electric baseboard heat only. There's no ducting up here whatsoever. So we're gonna leave these electric baseboard heaters as backup heat, and we're gonna duct the entire upper floor through the attic. And I'll show you the attic. I'm gonna take one medium static, 18K ducted cassette. I'm gonna pop it right there. I'm gonna take two ducts as far as we can down to the far side of the master bedroom over there. Those are gonna be linear diffusers uh, on top of the window. And then we're gonna take another two down there as far as we can over the over the playroom door. A couple of linear diffusers down there. The 12K cassette's gonna go on the other side of the attic. 12K cassette is going to be for kids bedroom one and kids bedroom number two. Yeah, electric baseboard on the top floor, no ducting always makes it particularly tricky. So this is the electric baseboard heater. We're gonna take a Honeywell T10, we're gonna pop it in right there. We're going to take a T10 wall sensor we're gonna put it on maybe right there. Then the other zone is gonna be T10 here, the sensor in kids' bedroom one and kids' bedroom two. Be able to read the temperature from downstairs or any of these bedrooms. It's gonna be sweet. I think we'll have another supply up there. One return in the ceiling there. Not sure where we're gonna put this other return quite yet. The kids are crying. The parents are crying. The friends are crying. It's too hot. Everybody's crying. We'll wipe those tears away, baby. Bubba, because we're adding air conditioning, baby. No more. Wah, wah. Sleep tight, everybody.